The tradition of hunting for the Vanderwalls goes way back. Shane's grandpa Albert grew up hunting and trapping in South Central North Dakota. Albert passed his passion on to his son Jody and grandson Shane. They have shared some special memories from Shane's first pheasants to one of the best days of muskrat hunting. Shane's first turkey and several whitetail hunts. But Shane's dad and grandpa had never been on antelope hunt and decided this is the year. Better late than never. The Vanderwalls decided to hunt Unit 23 in Wyoming due to having a good antelope population and 100% draw rate the last few years. The north portion of the unit has a majority of the public land, so that's where they headed first, only to find rugged terrain that holds very few antelope. They would have to hunt the minimal public land on the southern portion of the unit if they wanted to be successful. Well, the Vanderwalls found hundreds of antelope on the southern portion of the unit, but there was just one problem. None of them were on public land, and they weren't paying up either. On day three, they spotted a herd on public land a quarter mile from camp. The chase was on. Swing. It'll come over the road. Don't shoot it on the road, though. Just let it come. If we don't move, it'll be fine. Yeah, don't shoot now.
here on the third day. We uh, had a couple nice ones we've seen just down the road. Steve will show you the footage of them. They're literally like 10 feet on the opposite side of the fence where they needed to be for us to be able to get after them. But anyway, Dad got a buck this morning. Grandpa just got a small buck here. And, uh, had a nice little herd come running through, so got the sticks out and made a nice shot on them and didn't go too far, so get him all cleaned up and we'll get back at it. Later that day, the wind picked up as the blizzard rolled in, and it was time to get out of there. Thanks for watching this episode of 7 1 Outdoors. For updates, check out 71outdoors.com or like us on Facebook. And a big thanks to our sponsors. The World Hunting Club, Kirsch's Outdoor Products, Angle Coolers, and the Racket Later.